Hey everybody, uh, made progress on the turn signal controller. Pretty much pre-production stuff is in, so I wanted to show you how it's working now. Uh, Adam Dasher, obviously, and over off to the side, if you can see it, have our new uh, weather sealed IP54 momentary switch. And let me just show you quick how it functions. <clears throat> uh, same as before, quick click. Gives a lane change. You can do that on either side. Uh, press and hold for a little longer. Toggles on the turn signal. You can cancel it by doing the switch again. Similarly on the other side. And now if I turn the wheel, execute the turn, back, turns off. Uh, pretty standard stuff as far as cars go. Again, turn the right, turn back center, and it's off. Um, the changes that I made most recently are to allow adjustment of the lane change time. So right now, about four clicks. The switch is programmable, so if I press and hold to the right and let it go for about eight seconds, it enters a programming mode. So that's program mode now. Let go on the switch. And now if I push it to the left, it will record how long I do that and use that as the new lane change time. <clears throat> so we had four flashes before, so I'll do six this time. Two, three, four, five, six. So that's now set as the new lane change time. So if I give a lane change, one, two, three, four, five, six. All there is to it. Um, you can also reset it to factory default by doing the same procedure and just pushing left for eight seconds. Um, you can do it real short too, so if I go ahead and initiate the uh, program mode here again. And if I just want to have a real quick one, two flashes, now two flashes. So I will move around to the side here and give you a look at under the dash. So this is still prototype circuit boards and I uh, don't have the cover on the control box and everything. The wiring's obviously just hanging out, but uh, for starters, this is the controller. You can see the original switch uh, headers just plug in. The uh, three pin one is the new wire that goes off to the new switch. The four pins here go off to the sensor for the wheel, and then power comes in on this. There's a plastic cover that goes over. Uh, we've got mounting holes on this. It's a uh, fire safe plastic, eighth inch thick, so it should be hell for stout. Um, <clears throat> the sensor, this one is specific for the Atom 2. Uh, you can see basically you just loosen up that nut head, slide the sensor on, and tie it back down in place. And then you can see I've got magnets there attached on the uh, steering shaft and pretty much you can set those however far you set them apart is how far you turn the wheel to do a cancellation. Um, <clears throat> once they're on there the magnets will hold in place. Uh, I think what my install instruction will be is just to wrap one turn of uh, black electrical tape around it just to hold them in place. You could glue it or whatever else works for you, but I think the tape would be more than adequate. Um, they're neodymium magnets, so they are quite aggressive at staying on there. I can't even pull that one off without getting something better on it. So anyway, that's progress. Um, production circuit boards are in the queue uh, probably be a couple weeks, and hopefully I'll have these things ready. Thanks for listening.